I want to know about you. You um, have an opportunity speaking about uh, right place where somebody wants to hear your ideas and you say, well, fuck, how about a show that takes place at community college? It, was it then that you went to a community college and did a little research or you did the research first? It was previous. The reason why I knew that it was a mainstream idea is because I had experienced what it was emotionally. I, I, I you know, you talk about, um, you know, entertaining the, the, the folks and being in your attic and doing tap dances and stuff. Like, like the part, I think part of that personality is you kind of, you only live half of a real life. Like other people, uh, people who aren't infected with that virus, they, mm -hmm. I think they have real friendships a lot earlier than right. uh, people who are trying to prove something about themselves. And um, uh, I was 32 and I was at community college. Um, Learning uh, Spanish? Yeah, I was taking a Spanish class with my uh, girlfriend um, and uh, she was taking a dance class and I was also taking, I took biology and. Uh, while I waited for her dance class, and, and then we took Spanish together. So this was my, my way of saving our relationship. So I thought we'd have homework, and it would be about communication. And, and clearly it worked. And, yeah, no. Uh, we, we broke up shortly after. But, uh, well, but uh, while we were there, um, I was in this biology class, and because I was 32 and I had nothing to lose and nothing to... I, I was really interested in biology, so it made me the perfect student. I was just acing all my exams, and these two kids came up to me, um, on a smoke break and said, uh, hey, you're number 198 or whatever, like, because, you know, they posted the grades. They figured out it was me that was getting all the A-pluses on the exams. And I said, yeah, yeah. And they said, uh, w w will you study with us? Because we're only getting Cs. And uh, I couldn't say no, but I wanted desperately to say no because I have nothing to gain from that. That sounds like a horrible... Like, like what? You just want to siphon part of my A into your C? It's a, what am I going to get from this? I can't a get B an A plus plus. plus. That's yeah, what you'll get exactly. I'll be busy teaching you. And uh, but I, I'm a coward and uh, socially paralyzed, so I said yes. And I, I met with them uh, after hours in the library in this little tiny study room and uh, um, studying with them. And we were studying cellular mitosis and. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh, the worst topic ever. Uh, uh, I, 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 some, at some point during that study session, I became like excited about learning with them, and that like that they were getting it, and I was getting it. And we were getting it together, and that we were all three going to get A's on our exam because we really got cellular mitosis. And I wasn't profiting from any of it. I was already capable of getting an A plus on my own, but I experienced this emotional sensation. That, that, so f first there was that, that warmth, but more profound than that was the second realization, which was that this is like, this should be growing on trees, and it probably is for most people. I am a huge asshole. I, I have been complete, my head has been up my ass my whole life. I'm 32, and I had to wander into this situation to feel the most common uh, thing in the world, which is giving a shit about the people that live next door to you, kind of like rooting for them, and w w even though they don't work in the industry or anything. And so I bookmarked that emotional experience because I, I realized at that point, I was like, oh, this is a mainstream TV show. Uh, community college, fish out of water, northern exposure meets cheers meets whatever. It's, it, it, this, is, this, is what, this is that show that they're always waiting for me to pitch instead of robots and time travel. 